this is Kiwi G and I'm back in Malaysia. I just landed yesterday. I'm so horribly jet lagged. And um, uh, my Malaysian, uh, sorry, my uh, UK conventions are over. I uh, it was a whole summer of touring, doing conventions, one every one almost every two weeks, and uh, it was crazy. Um, if anyone is interested, I'll I'll make a vlog about my experiences about doing multiple conventions in one go and everything like that. And um, you know how I felt uh, was was it worth it? Will I do it again? Short answer is yes. Um, but so I've met so many wonderful artists while I was like touring and everything, and uh, everyone has been so lovely to um, to give like me shout out on Instagram like you they you know everyone makes uh, everyone who does like conventions they do like a little post of all their haul like after um after after the the convention is over and like um and they go like oh it was a nice weekend I got stuff from this person and this person and this person uh s but since I ended up going to six conventions um since I ended up going to six conventions uh, the problem with like doing an art haul like that is that like um, I just got so much stuff and a lot of stuff from the same people just at different cons like every time I see them I get something new it shows support everything um, so um, before and, and everyone knows I love collecting prints all right, my whole room is full of prints right now. You you can you can only see a small selection of prints right now, but there's so much more, so much more around the room. So I thought it was only fair before I start putting all these new prints up that I do one massive art haul video, um, showing everyone editing. Boom boom, usernames go follow them here on the 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 bottom. Everything there, um. Yeah, go follow everyone in this video because they are amazing and they are so sweet and uh, I made so many wonderful friends. They are almost like an art family, like 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 just so amazing. Good friends, good people, good everything. Oh, I'm so emotional already. I miss them so much. Um, but let's get started. Yay! Okay, see, check, see, check. Uh, I have to apologize in advance if there are like moments where I trail off and look off into the distance. I am incredibly jet lagged. Um, I wish I could sleep the whole day away but I can't because gotta adjust to this time zone now, not the UK time zone even though I would love to sleep. But anyway, ah, this is a massive folder full of various various things that I got from different artists over six conventions. So. Um, and also, none of none of this is arranged to to artists. Like I didn't have like an entire like section in here that's just like Kidura stuff, um, Nikki stuff, because that would be I don't know. I arrange everything in here according to size because I thought that would be the the easiest way to pack it. To ship to bring it home, yes, but not for an art haul video. So I apologize in advance. This is going to be a little bit messy. But let's start off first with two adorable prints that I got from Snow Gems table at uh at MCM no SunnyCon SunnyCon Expo one Pink Mercy and one Lucina. Um, I hope the I hope the I hope the video like focuses on them. If they if it if it doesn't focus. It renders this whole thing a waste of time. So, is it focusing? Yeah, kinda, kinda. It's kinda focusing. All right. So let's let's go on then, cause I was like, I need to give all these artists the shout outs that they deserve, and I thought of doing it in one massive video rather than doing it bit by bit and like little bits pieces. Uh, cause like for example, I saw a Kidura Nikki like tree, like two times during like um, the whole MCM, like the whole um, convention tour and I ended up getting so much stuff from her each time. Every time I gave her something, she would give me something and it's just like every single time I saw her, I would get something new and that's the same for nearly every artist that I saw, like Blue Fate and uh, and uh, even even um, Theo uh, Heiki herself. Uh, 
every time every time I gave them something they would give me something as well so it just made sense to make just pile it all in one video uh, I also got lovely lovely postcards from Holy Hand Grenade um, uh, Mystic Messenger, Keith no that's not, this is Keith um, Zen from Mystic Messenger, Keith um, Aizawa and Kirishima Holy Hand Grenade is such a lovely person uh, I was so happy when she when she came and found me at uh, MCM Manchester and um, props that that uh, Detroit cosplay is that on on the last MCM Manchester absolutely fantastic. Um, so I got sticker sheet sticker sheet from uh, from Morton Family Arts that I'm going to use as um, as uh, as a little mini print. I ended up buying her eraser mic standees as well, but I gave those as a present to. Uh, Nonny B, which is uh, my friend Lauren, and also from what it was, it was just here. Also from Morton, Morton Family Arts, I got two charms, one of Zevran, uh, which means a lot to me because I've been following Morton Family Arts since her Dragon Age days. So having something Dragon Age from her means the world to me. And her little Kirishima acrylic, uh, acrylic charms, both of them here, here. Um, absolutely wonderful. Uh, love them so much. And so going and and also and also her her all might pin her all might pin which is pretty cute as well. Um, two notebooks. This is this is where like this is where um, organization is not key. I don't have any organization and Nikki is gonna pop up several times over this video so uh, when I give her this video to like look through sh she's not gonna be able to go to the time code and see all her stuff in a row because none of these things in here are organized that's the problem when you're moving but two adorable notebooks Boku no Hero notebooks from Kidura um, her art is so precious and when I saw these I just had to have them and she was so so sweet and she gave them to me as a present god I love her so much and um, Todoroki and Deku um, these notebooks I have absolutely no idea what to use them for but they're they are lovely sketchbooks lovely paper but you know you ever get like sketchbooks and presents from friends and you're just like I don't want to use them because they're too precious um, I think this this is uh, a Detroit print from Mayuli. Uh, I got uh, Mayuli. Maybe I can't remember. Uh, it'll be the name will be here if I've gotten it wrong. Um, Detroit print from Mayuli um, uh, from Japan Expo. Lovely person. Lovely art. I love Detroit stuff. Drown me in Detroit stuff, please. Um, uh, another uh, a Todoroki a Todoroki Tod a Todoroki um, watercolor little little um, adorable like print from Kidura again I've got so much stuff from Kidura it's insane all right uh, something something a little bit different I have the accompanying. I know it's definitely in here, that's why I'm just like digging, digging, digging for it. Um, I saw you! I saw you! Stop running away! Alright, two prints from Akuo Arts. Um, Akuo? Akuo Arts? Uh, Kirishima and Noya, my two favorite boys, um, drawn to perfection. So I had to have them. He's so adorable. Uh, I. I'm so happy to be able to support his art because he is such a nice person. Check out how the way that he draws boys is so good. Like I, I like look at that Noya. Look at that Noya. I want um, his skill. Um, can you see it? Kinda. It's kind of focusing. Like yeah. Um, Aqua Arts. Fantastic person adorable person. Moving on, I've got tons and tons and tons of stuff from Blue Fate. First, uh, I'll probably end up mentioning her again um, over and over during the video. But first, uh, her, Majora's, her Majora's Mask print, uh, Majora's Mask Link. Um, Majora's Mask is one of my favorite Legend of Zelda games of all time. So to have that in a print form 
uh, represented on my wall of of stuff is is makes me so happy. Uh, Kate, I'm so glad that you made this because Majora's Mask needs more love. I love Majora's Mask so much. Um, her Inktober 2017 book. She she just came up to me and she was like, "Do you want this?" And I was like, "Uh, yes, because it's your art and your art is beautiful." And um fantastic book full of Inktober stuff. You know, it's 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 work like this that makes me want to do Inktober this year. So I'll probably actually try to do Inktober this year. What about that? Like crazy, right? But I might actually try to do Inktober this year. So boo. Uh, Inktober, Inktober illustration books from, from Blue Fates. Ta-da! My arm just cracked when I did that. Um, love, lovely Mystic Messenger, um, Mis Mystic Messenger uh, notebook. I have so many notebooks this time. I just only realized this now. But lovely Mystic Messenger notebook from from Penguin Bites. Peng Penguin Penguins Bite. Like the S is at the end of penguins, not bites. So penguins bite, which you know raises questions because like why did you come out with that username and like the penguin bite you? I'm so concerned. Which comes with a lovely illustration in the in the at the back of the cover, which is like insert username like the game. So um, super 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 cute. Um, absolutely love it. I don't know what I'm gonna use this notebook for. I don't know what I'm gonna use all these notebooks for. Um, package. For May Storm. May Storm, uh, I met her last year. I, I met them, I met her last year at uh, MCM, M <laughs> MCM London and she's such a sweetie. She is so sweet. And I haven't actually opened clearly, clearly because I just opened it right in front of you. I haven't opened this. Uh, but uh, I think this is Bungo Stray Dogs. Uh, I haven't watched it but looking at this makes me want to like like reminded me that I need to to watch this show and um, a Rowlet ice cream picture. How cute is that? Ah, uh, uh, well they're not. Thank God they are not edible. Like they're not actually going to be eaten. Thank God. But like, and it's got like a little stamp at the back, which is super cute. Um, May Storm is so sweet. Give her loads of support. Um, it was only this is only her second year um, conventioning. So give a lot of support, and um, yeah, slowly decreasing the pile that is all this love and support from friends. I just, oh, I just wanna, I'm, give me, give me a second, give, give me a second, just ah, oh, hugs, hugs from all the love and support from friends that I made over the convention season. Oh, I, I can't hug them now because I'm back in Malaysia, but I hug this now because this it's the only thing I can hug. So just give give me a moment. Just give me a moment to hug. Alright, back back to it. Back to it. Um What's next? Little adorable uh Ducky Arts made me this adorable Hinata stickers and she gave me so many she was like wallpaper your house in them but yes I will thank you very much but like wallpaper your house in them yeah I just might uh, Hinata is my favorite character from from Fire Emblem Fire Emblem in general so for her to make this for me it was super super sweet uh, let me put this back in the protective little bag little cute polka dot bag that she gave me so so cute and uh, she also gave me her entire her entire Boku no Hero stickers collection, um, which is uh, it's got a little Todoroki, uh, like a little Uraraka, a little Ida. Uh, hold on, no, it's a little Ida. I dropped something. More, I dropped Todoroki. I was like, uh, uh, Deku, Bakugo. More dropping them everywhere, a little Suyu, um, Momo, Denki, and all my where's oh there's Kirishima. Uh there's Kirishima as well. Her entire Boku no Hero sticker set. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these little babies. Like I feel bad using stickers because like sometimes they come off so I might have to like stick them on my shelf or something so they'll never come off. You know what I mean? 
Um, this one's a bit easy, so because I put them together. Um, the fantastic Detroit print from Tricky Wagons, Sush, aka Sush, uh, Tricky Wagons, and uh, a Detroit, Detroit's little mini. Like I love sticker sheets because they're like mini prints almost. But sticker sheet, Detroit sticker sheet from Tricky Wagons, and this gorgeous, gorgeous um, the uh, corner print. Um, there was I am alive here, which is done like in really dark colors, so you can barely see it. And when I saw it, when I first saw it, it was actually like um, bef when I was packing all this stuff in the folder to take home, and uh, it scared the shit out of me. I was, you know, it was like I was so shocked, and uh, it's so cool. Um, tricky wagons, tricky wagons. Okay. Alright, we're slowly getting through the pile. Um, shoot. Um, this again, this is the same person, my my Yuli again uh, from Japan Expo. Um, fantastic, fantastic art. Um, fantastic Bakugo piece. Love how she does faces. Absolutely amazing. Um, this is a present for my brother, but uh, it's Kidura's eraser, e e erase, eraser, erased print. I have, I already have this on my wall, already have it. But my brother was the one that introduced me to the anime, so I got this for him, so he can get it framed in his room. And he said that he will. So, and he already says that he loves this. So, Nikki, you're such a talented artist. Um, I hate you. No, I don't. I love you. I love you so much. Um, Um, I had to check because the actual, the actual, this, uh, this was from MCM Manchester, so my mem, like, it was literally the one, the last convention that I did, and then three days later, I moved back to the, back to Malaysia. Uh, but this, uh, this Boku no Hero print done by Saturn Berries, uh, absolutely so cute. Uh, they couldn't stop by my table, uh, so they sent a representative instead. They got my Kirishima pillow, and in return gave me these RPG stickers and this Boku no Hero print, which is really, really awesome. And thank you so, so much. Um, this this is a little something special, so I'm going to put it here uh, for the big reveal a little bit later. We are narrowing down some stuff. Oh, this this piece got a little bit interesting story. I think it's I can't. Um, uh, this is Sayaka from a show that I'm not really sure. I thought it was Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club for a second, but it was um, Snow Gems illustrations. One of them, there's two of them together. Um, one of them's sister um, was tabling for the first time. She wasn't there, so they were selling it on her on her behalf, and they were saying that. Um, sales weren't going so well, and I was like, bull crappy, bull crappy. Um, her art is amazing, so I bought this. Um, your art is amazing. You didn't have a business card on the table, I don't think. Uh, but fantastic art. Uh, if I see her again next year, I'm going to cry. Okay, um, this watercolor Alice in Wonderland done by Nashi Manga. Nashi. Nashi, Nashi is so cute. Uh, she was selling this for three pounds. I was like, no, you're not selling this for three pounds. I'm gonna give you ten, because look at this. This is traditional work. Look at how gorgeous this is, you know. And like, she was like, oh, you can take another print if you um, if you pay ten. And I was like, no, 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 no. You're taking ten. Think of it as a seven pound tip. Alright, because uh, your art deserves it, you are amazing, you are so cute, and um, this is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I, If I could do traditional work like this, I would cry, but I can't, so I'm not gonna cry. Uh, but Nashi, Nashi, Nashi Manga, you guys probably know her because she's super famous, and uh, she's absolutely super cute, and I'm so glad that I met her at Hypo Japan, and um, yes. Yes, we're slowly narrowing things down a little bit. We're getting to the we're getting to like the A tree stuff. Um, Hatsune Miku print by Jue. Uh, 
how handy I love how handy it is when people leave like their little like things at the back of the print so like it doesn't matter that I accidentally threw away everyone's business cards recycle everyone's business cards um, a Hatsune Miku print done by Jue. Um, I had I had dinner with her. I had sushi with her and uh, K Juni. Uh, both of them are super super cute. Um, so so sweet. Uh, but this her art it's so soft, isn't it? Isn't it so soft? It's like it's like a gorgeous, beautiful, petite. Um, what's the word? Like those like. <laughs> Those China dolls that like, um, you know, like, like when you ping, they'll break. So, um, Jue's, Jue's Hatsune Miku, um, Hatsune Miku drawing, absolutely stunning. So happy to have it. Um, a style picture representing Awakening Best Boy from Ducky Arts. Uh, same person who did those adorable stickers earlier. So, so, so happy to have this. Uh, so happy to have representing my best boy on the wall. Woo! Um, okay, well, well, yeah, we're narrowing things down. We're getting to the end, which is a whole bunch of A3 posters, which I'm gonna have to find space. I'm gonna have to Tetris everything on the wall. But um, narrowing things down, this um, got this adorable Hinata and Nat Nats Natsu print from Kidura, uh, again, gorgeous watercolors, um, and this, this piece that will go down in history, um, her original watercolors, uh, her original, the original of this piece was sold at SunnyCon for at a charity auction for £450, so I had to get one of these because it will go down in history. You know, I had to get one of the copies of this because it would go literally go down in history. It was amazing. You, you, sh you should have been in that auction because everyone was cheering. And when the bid hit 420, everyone was like, yeah, 420, blaze it. But like, none of us really stopped to rem like realize how much money that was. And that was all for charity. And it was so amazing. That moment will go down in SunnyCon history. And uh, I had to get this piece also because... Uh, number one, history. Number two, it's Nikki's art, so I had to get it. And number three, it's Fire Emblem, so I had to get it. Three reasons why I had to get this absolutely wonderful piece of art from Nikki. Um, yeah, it's so good. The amount of detail and um, and and just everything is just and the shadows and the shadows on the steps and everything. It's crazy, absolutely, absolutely crazy. Um, so absolutely had to get that. Uh, no other way around it. I'm starting to group things a little bit better. Um, this uh, ghost Pokemon in a bottle, ghost Pokemon in a bottle print by Brogan Koros, who was my table neighbor at uh, MCM Manchester. She's super sweet, super super duper adorable, and uh, this is gonna look great on my wall. She's really good with colors, and I love how all her prints are like cornered, like little rounded corners. I actually bought a rounded corner punch puncher myself because I was thinking about doing the same thing so your art is so cute so adorable thank you so much for doing an art trade with me thank you everyone for doing an art trade with me really um but yes adorable ghost pokemon print by broken corals um uh dog dog yeah the dog poster set so let's just open this up finally because I didn't like I know I already know what's inside it uh, but uh, Year of the Dog Year of the Dog print collection set by Pro I know I know her real name that's what's important to me but um, by Pro Porokachi Porokachi uh, Porokachi uh, I met her at Hyper Japan she's super duper adorable Year of the Dog set which includes um uh, Year of the Dog prints makes me want to do a Year of the Pigs thing, but I'm afraid that it might look really similar to yours. I don't know, but it's just gonna have a bunch of pigs all over it. Uh, Year of the Dog postcard. I think there's two in here. There's another one here. Isn't her art style amazing? I would sell my soul for her art style. Uh, Year of the Dog sticker set. 
sticker set here, uh, stickers and more stickers at the back. Um, this she was selling this as one whole um, set to buy at uh, at Hyper. Um, like here's her business card here, which I which which is uh, and a little thank you, a little thank you, a little thank you, Pomeranian. Uh, with a little thank you at the back of it. So this whole thing, Year of the Dog print set, along with cats, ironically, dogs and cats, a uh, cat print by Poro, Poro, God damn it, um, Poro Kachi, Poro Kachi, uh, absolutely wonderful person, Anita is so sweet, I'm just gonna call her Anita from now on, um, um, she's kind of like specializes in like creepy, gory, stuff, a uh, creepy, gory, cute stuff, which isn't really my thing, but the art style is just so gorgeous, like, I have to support her, so, like, I don't care if they're, if she draws, like, a thousand decapitated heads all over my dashboard on my Instagram, uh, I'm gonna love it, I'm gonna like every single one of them, because her art is amazing, and, yeah, dogs, so cute, um, yes, this whole thing, all of this, gonna have to find space with somewhere, just like everything else, um, this, the very famous, I wouldn't say it's famous, but I was calling it this, I was calling it that the whole weekend. Uh, The Snake That Goes Nom by Bryony, uh, Brian, Brian, Bryony, Bryony, damn, god dang, dang it, Difford, Bryony Difford, um, the snake that goes numb, very very precious to me because I was looking at this all weekend, it's a little snake that goes numb. I love it so so much, I love a good snake, I love a good snake, look at the cute snake, like I love a good snake so much. Um, and I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong for the 15,000th time even though we spent the whole weekend at Hyper Japan together, I'm so bad, I'm so sorry, but your art is amazing, this is so cute, I'm so glad to own the snake that goes numb. Uh, I'm so glad that it's going to be on my wall, um, uh, so, so happy, uh, art is great, uh, proper name will, will, will have been on the screen, so, uh, follow, follow, follow them. Um, Lucina print, gorgeous Lucina print, along with this Azura keychain, this Azura keychain, uh, Lucina print, absolutely gorgeous, and this Hinata charm that's been like, uh, I posted it on Instagram, but like, Hinata is my best Fire Emblem boy, and I was crying about the fact that I never have any Hinata stuff anywhere, uh, but, and then Keijuni came up and surprised me with this, and it was amazing, and I was crying, and it was so good, um, but absolutely fantastic, gorgeous Lucina print, his art is outstanding, outstanding, outstanding absolute senpai absolute senpai just yeah just god ah oh, fuck ha huh, huh. anyway absolute senpai gorgeous art lovely person lovely guy go support him um his 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 chibis are so cute and so detailed god look at this azura Look at this, it's it's just wonderful. I, I love it so much. Gorgeous Lucina print. Happy to have it. Thank you for trading with me. Um Bang Dream! Bang Dream! Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous Bang Dream print. Uh not a best girl, but who cares is Bang Dream. All girls are best girls. Uh by Straving. Uh at met her at YCC. Absolutely wonderful, adorable person, just like her art. She mostly does like furry. Uh, and she was trying to get me into furry hell, she was this close. I'm actually m nearly into furry hell because of her adorable art. But Strayling! Art by Strayling. Uh, bang Dream Print. Lovely, lovely Bang Dream Print. Uh, this is, this is an off, this is an official, like, art folder. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm actually gonna stick it on the wall because it's, it's such good art. But, uh, Um, there's a Hinata pin that I put in a safe place so it's not in this folder, but I've got this adorable Kana and this adorable Chrome from Happy, Happy, Happy Starring. Um, I got this adorable Kana and this adorable Chrome from Happy Starring at Japan Expo. 
she is so cute and uh, has so much fire emblem stuff please make a hinata charm please i will pay you all of my money to make a hinata charm you had so many fire emblem characters but you didn't have hinata and i was just like ah oh. but she had a hinata pin and it was so cute and i have it on my jacket which is why it's not in this folder because i just carry it to my next to my heart always um and wait, i don't know where my heart is um happy starring awesome fire emblem artist um, go give her some love. We are reaching the end. Look at all these like sick A3 posters that I need that I that I need to um, that I need to acknowledge. Um, finally, finally, two pins from uh, two pins from Jue. Uh, not pins. Why did I say pins? I'm clearly holding charms. A uh, uh, Legend of Zelda link. Well, I don't know why I said that like a question. A little link and a little Bakugo wooden strap from K, uh, not K Jenny, Jue from Jue. Her little chibis are so cute. They give me so much hope. I don't know why. I, I just like love cute stuff like this. Okay, all right. Um, I can, I can. Okay, first three massive, massive posters from Blue Fate. I got, I got her, I got her ghosty Pokemon print. Ghosty, all the lovely ghosty Pokemons. Uh, I have so many ghost Pokemon. You think that ghost Pokemon is my favorite because of all the ghost Pokemon art I have on my walls, but it's actually not. Fairy Pokemons are my favorite, but like, I love this print and I absolutely had to have it from Blue Fate. Um, along with, along with her All Might poster, All Might poster from Blue Fate, and, uh, and this Undertale print, uh, both from Blue Fate, uh, lovely person, lovely, lovely person, lovely art. I adore her so, so much. She's so cute and so funny and I miss her already. And um, this print is really funny because uh, this is actually an old display print. And she was telling me that the colors, it's discolored a little bit because uh, photo paper tends to do that. It's discolored a little bit already. And um, and she was gonna throw it away, but I was like, it's Undertale, you can't throw it away. So I just like, I basically, and she will, uh, uh, she will, um, be my witness. Uh, she will tell you that I took it from the trash. I did not. I took it from the floor, uh, which is not the trash. The floor is not the trash. Uh, she dropped it on the floor. She dropped it on the floor. I thought she dropped it. She was actually throwing it away. I rescued this piece of art, and it's going to be on my wall now. And then as I ran away with it. She called me a trash panda, a name that I hold with the highest honor. Um, a hero's fashion poster from my best con friend and one of my best friends, really, uh, Heiki, who was on tour of me the entire time, except MC in Manchester. But five out of six, she spent a lot of time with me, and she is still my friend. Uh, anyone that can do that uh, has earned like the title like one of my best friends but heroes fashion poster from Heiki gorgeous art I have so many prints from her on my wall but I saw this and I just absolutely had to have it um, Boku, no, Boku no Heroes um, uh, boys poster from an artist that I cannot remember but uh, I will definitely find the name and put it right here because um, gorgeous gorgeous art I can't remember it off the top of my head right now but found found her art at Japan Expo and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous had to have this print absolutely had to um, Hatsune Miku poster from Mark Graf uh, also at Japan Expo lovely 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 details and shading and everything gorgeous gorgeous details gorgeous shading absolutely adorable i love hatsune miku and i'm so so happy to have this as part of my art collection absolutely absolutely wonderful um giant pearlescent print poster of uh, original art from kidura Again, I told you I was her name is gonna come up a billion times in this video because I got so much stuff from her, but she is amazing, so who cares? Um, absolutely gorgeous print by Kidura. Uh, I remember watching the works in progress for this, so I absolutely had to have this on my wall. The perspective is amazing, the details is amazing, the shading is amazing, absolutely amazing all around. 
um, absolutely gorgeous love life poster of all my of all my Muse girls and a Steven Universe uh, Cookie Cat Parade poster by Brown Rabbits, one of my favorite artists on um, on like in the world, and um, along with this Kirishima square piece. Uh, so so cute and so detailed, so adorable from Brown Rabbits, one of my favorite artists in the world, and uh, and she was and a representative selling on her behalf was at MCM London, and I absolutely had to grab a couple of of her. Um, Boku no Boku no Heroes teacher print by Holy Hand Grenade. Uh, it's so rare to see all the teachers like. Teachers, all the teachers, not just all my present mic and um, eraser head. We got like um, um, that lady. I can't remember her name right now. And um, and thirteen as well. And the and the and the principal with his little cup. It's so so cute. And uh, so glad to have this. Thank you, holy hand grenade. Um, for it, it's so good. I'm gonna have a hard time finding space on my wall for this and saving the very best for last Well, folder put aside. I met one of my favorite most oh my god Most favorite artists of all time Aquafells at Japan Expo. Look at this Keith print. All right, like look at it I I have been following her art for nearly seven years, seven years, and her use in color and in details and just expressive poses and everything, none of which I have, but like I would love to have. Um, like she's a huge inspiration. I I remember like looking at her drawings and drawing stuff when I was like what like 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 seven eight years ago. Um, I would be copying them badly on like like reference here and then copying the pose here just like trying to be as cool as her and she was at Japan Expo Aquafels was at Japan Expo and when I saw her I nearly cried because such a wonderful amazing huge impact on my art career and she was just right then and her stall I took a video of her stall which is in my uh, Japan Expo vlog because she was she had her reasons for not being in the vlog which is fine I don't blame her uh, but that's that that this print not the only thing I have from her I also have her Keith her uh, her you can tell that my favorite boy from Voltron is Keith. Keith is the only one that I care about. But her favorite is Keith too. I got this fantastic Keith standee uh, from her. Like I remember coming up to her at the end of the con. My pockets full of change because you know, like um, when you when you change money, they don't take coins. So I had nearly forty euros full of change in my pocket, and I was just like carrying it. And like my pockets were actually like dangling and like and and just like and I got there took out like 20 euros in change and just like and I was like I would take this please thank you very much at the very end of the con she's so sweet she's such a sweet person like like I was so overwhelmed by how lovely she was like like my one of my biggest art inspirations of my life like and and like and she wasn't a dick <laughs> Like I say that like all art inspirations are dicks or something But you know like you know sometimes you're a bit nervous to go out to someone that you really admire And you're just like oh what if what if I what if I was really awkward or oh, what if they're really mean Oh no like but she wasn't mean she wasn't and I'm not saying that all these people here are mean either No all these people here are all 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 lovely all lovely people artists are not dicks I'm I'm just saying like you know you you just you just don't want to mess up and 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 you and you just like um, nothing and also but in at the same time nothing nothing feels worse than going up to like an artist that you really like and and you go like oh my god like I love your art uh, so much you've inspired me so much over the last couple of years and and nothing feels worse than them just going like ah oh, cool thanks like just a blatant like. Like, ah, cool, thanks. I get that all the time. I just like, you know, like, um, just, I, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. It, it just blew me away. Like, 
I, I, she, she made my Japan Expo weekend. She did, she did. Just how lovely and sweet she was. She just made my whole weekend. So, uh, I bought her, her Voltron art book from her. Uh, so I can like just like flip through it. I love how she draws profiles. Uh, let me just find a piece that I really like enjoy. Uh, like like this one in here. Uh, I love how she draws profiles, and I I I'm going to study the heck out of this book. I'm gonna like uh, uh, I'm gonna study the heck out of this because like it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And um, God, look at these look at these profiles. Look at these profiles, like, oh, oh, sorry. Look at these profiles, absolutely gorgeous. Um, not only that, she drew a sketch of Keith in the book. In the book, I was I was losing my mind when I saw that she was going to do that to all the art books, and and she wrote and she signed it. She signed it to me. She said for Jia and thank you so much for your kind words. Thank you for being an awesome person, and um. She drew that Keith, this Keith for me, and gave me this extra Keith postcard for free. I was crying. I just, oh my god, best for last. Like, um, absolutely huge inspiration to me. And, oh, 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 oh. Ah, ow, that actually hurt. That, that was not a gag. I actually hit my head against the wall. It just, uh, I, what I was going to do was just like lean back and just go like, oh, just take all this art that's currently on my couch in a very, un, like in a very just, let me just, let me just embrace, but, but not crumple, embrace but not crumple. Oh, I dropped some already. All this art, just, oh, just, oh, hugs. Oh. All these people in this video that I that I shout out to are wonderful, talented individuals. That the world is your oyster, you guys. Uh, you you are lovely, kind, sweet, talented people. The world is your oyster. I love you guys so much, and I will support you until the end of time. But yes, that is my major art haul video. You can tell. That's why I didn't want to like do like little like like little like Instagram stories. Nothing wrong with Instagram stories, but like uh, I just have so much to say about all of these people that I just want to sit down and just make uh, what is probably a long ass video about um, about all of them. But now this will be kept in the records. Thank you so much for making my convention tour. As memorable as it is, every little moment that we had, I, I will remember it. I, I, I just, you guys are amazing, you guys are the best. Now time to play Tetris and put all the art on the walls and uh, not feel guilty about giving shoutouts because this is a massive shoutout video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, once I get over this jet lag, and it's not really apparent that I'm jet lagged right now because I just got super like adrenaline rush by talking about all this art. But once I get over this jet lag, art will be back soon. And um, thank you guys so much for watching and bye.